como la derecha y en la parte de este tercer episodio se estuvo mm. comiendo en reiteradas ocasiones Exacto. el llave y el recto. Oh. Y bueno, oh. pues aquí repasamos estos momentos de apremio para la mexicana como observamos aquí. Y'all are not gonna believe this, or maybe you will, depending upon your thoughts and your opinions post Olympic opening ceremony. But boxers, two of them, who failed gender test at the World Championships, have been cleared to compete at the Olympics. Insane. There goes pictures of the two she fellows. I, To be honest, I don't know how to refer to them. Regardless, let's go into the article. The International Olympic Committee has confirmed that two boxers who were disqualified from the World Championships last year for failing gender eligibility test will be allowed to fight in Paris. Iman Chelif of Algeria and Ling Yu Ting of Chinese Taipei, Taiwan, both start their Olympic campaigns this week. Khalif will meet the Italian Angela Carini in a 66 kg category, and Lynn is expected to face an unnamed opponent in the 57 kg category on Friday. So the Algerian person is facing definitely a <laughs> woman, and they don't know the opponent yet for Lynn is what this looks like. The IOC's decision will be controversial, with the former world champion Barry McGuinness expressing his unease. In a post on Twitter, he wrote, it's shocking that they're allowed to get this far. What is going on? I could tell you how it's gotten this far. Years of this being unchecked, complemented by this feminist movement, which pushes equality of genders outside of looking at people and determining, hmm, this person shouldn't be competing against women. Hmm, this person has the anatomy, <laughs> the parts of a man and should not be competing in combat sports with a woman and also progenitors of this movement with an lgbtq are deeply embedded into media so this has continued to spread without being checked the situation has arisen because the world championships last year was run under the auspices of the international boxing association whose president umar kremlev told the russian news agency the dna tests had proved that they had xy chromosomes and thus were excluded from the sports events okay so these people are intersex that dns had proved that they had xy chromosomes if you have an xy chromosome you're male and thus were excluded from the sports events the iba told the guardian that it had made a decision following a comprehensive review and it was intended to uphold the fairness and integrity of the competition since then the iba has been banned from running the olympic boxing tournament in paris because of the long-running questions surrounding the governance issues and a series of judging scandals that means the boxing in paris is now being run under the auspices of the ioc's paris 2024 boxing unit okay that explains it because this boxing unit is going to have much more relaxed rules than the iba they're so relaxed in fact that they haven't even considered their chromosomes i would imagine here their argument would be that they are intersex and they identify as a woman. And as far as the boxers go, the Taiwanese young man has yet to say anything. However, the Algerian man has, and he says it right down here. So you'll see right here, the advertisement for the first fight, and it's coming up damn soon on August 1st. And you'll see here, Kelef from Algeria with the XY chromosomes facing Karina of Italy with the XX chromosomes. And since all this has happened, Footage back from 2022 of Kelef fighting a woman has gone viral. A la mexicana, Mane Kelef, que se está llevando God la contienda ahora en la repetición, ese golpe de impacto. Sí, 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 se vio claramente de nueva cuenta el recto en combinación hasta sin. Yo, what kind of man goes into a sport to punch women? Okay, look at her. She wants no more. She feels the power. She realizes the difference. Cinco golpes alcanzó a conectar, manejándose con el jab y otra vez en la combinación ahí, en el upper, otro golpe de impacto, le van a aplicar otra cuenta de protección, cuidado porque si llega una tercera ocasión es susceptible 
de que le detengan el pleito. La velocidad de puños de Kelly no pudo contrarrestar lo rápido que desenfundaba tanto la izquierda como la derecha. Y en la parte de este tercer episodio se estuvo mm. comiendo en reiteradas ocasiones Thank el jab y el recto. Oh. Y bueno, oh. pues aquí repasamos estos momentos de apremio para la mexicana. Como observamos aquí que le estaban yeah. dejando el guante. Okay. Look at the, how are they even the same weight class? Look at the difference here. El botón y la esquina azul. Blue. That is a man. Damn it, he the biggest one in there. Corner de Algeria. El, el resultado que es campeona de Golden Bell Series. Aquí está por abandono. Uh, como ya... uh, you can't tell me that that is not a man. You, you know the other chick in the red should have <laughs> should have did. A low blow, you know, just to see if it is going to react as a man should. And once you see the wincing, oh, and the buckling and the doubling down onto the knees. Look, I told you it was a guy. For the life of me, I don't know how women can still be feminists. I don't know how you guys can not come out in droves and fight against this shit. They're ruining women's sports. There's already issues in a lot of women's sports regarding getting people into seats. And now y'all got this. I mean, but I will say that this actually might drive viewing numbers because I know I'm going to be watching this person's fight tomorrow. And shit, I'm probably going to do another damn video about it when I watch him beat the shit out of whoever, <laughs> the, the poor, lovely young Italian woman that doesn't know what's coming. Just to put this in perspective, I did a video in the past that talked about the greatest female boxer challenging an average male boxer. Yeah, she's the, the female boxer who was really the best in the world. Nobody wanted to fight to see a Riker. So she, I mean, she was sparring with guys. I mean, she was probably the best female Believe boxer it. ever. And nobody knows who the hell she is. Women fighting men is a very popular topic in combat sports. Indeed. Years ago, media reported that Ronda Rousey could be Floyd Mayweather in a fight. Yeah, bugger. Today, there are still a lot of speculations that Amanda Nunes could be male champions. Well, yeah, this is literally the best female fighter of all time. And she actually fought a man. Nicknamed so let's see Lady what Tyson, happened. Lucia Riker is a woman who conquered the world of kickboxing and boxing. During her reign across two sports, the media dubbed her as the most dangerous woman in the world. She hit so hard that in a sports science show, her punches exceeded the force of a male fighter by 200 pounds. Hold up. A seasoned trainer who got hit by her and another Olympic male boxer said he couldn't tell the difference. When tested against Houston Alexander, Damn. a light heavyweight MMA fighter, Lucy I was gonna rag on it at first because it looked like it looked like he threw like more of a straight punch, and then she threw a hook, which would have more uh, torque behind it, which had more force behind it. But it looked like <laughs> on the second one, who got hit by her and another Olympic male boxer, it was a very said he similar. Tell the difference. Yeah, he threw when the hook that time, and she threw more straight that time. A light heavyweight MMA fighter. I remember him. Lucy he fought Kimbo just as hard as him. Yes, this makes her one of the hardest hitting women of all time. Crazy. Widely regarded as the greatest female boxer of all time, Lucia was undefeated in all her 54 fights with women. In ah, kickboxing, she Jesus. had 37 fights and four world titles. Most of her fights were won by knockout. In boxing, she had 17 fights with two world titles. 14 of her fights were by knockout. But what happened when she fought against a man? Let's see. Fight fans, welcome back to another episode of Striking Breakdowns. In this episode, we explore how the best female fighter was defeated by a male fighter. This special event took place when Lucia Riker already had four world titles in kickboxing. Training with the legendary Vosgym from the Netherlands, her corner included the great Ernesto Hust. By the time of this fight, Lucia ran out of kickboxing opponents and her trainer suggested it could be a good idea to fight a man. Which is absolutely brilliant marketing strategy, but the wrong time, the wrong decade, rather, because this trans gender, trans woman information and news hadn't reached this level and degree as it is right now. So it didn't get the necessary media attention, because even with this happening, none of us even know about it, right? Her opponent was Somchai JD, an amateur fighter in Australia. He had a total of 14 fights and was a local amateur champion. That boy ready. 
The first round was closely contested, but Somchai landed the clean of power shots. He even knocked Lucia's head back with a big cross. Oh. The Thai oh. also swept Lucia multiple times, once with a teep, another with a roundhouse, and then once inside the clinch. Somchai didn't look like he had better technique, but he was clearly faster and more powerful. More powerful yeah. Lucia was also able to sweep Somchai once, and for most of the round, she was the one pressing forward with aggression. Overall, Somchai covered the long range much more effectively than Lucia. This was important for him to be a sniper, allowing him to land clean shots without oh. a response. It's obvious here that it wasn't the technique that made the difference, it was the power and speed. Mm. In the second round, it was clear that Lucia wanted to overwhelm her opponent and tried to steamroll him. She was able to put Somchai onto the ropes and start swinging. After landing several big punches, she had her opponent cornered. But that's when he started swinging back, landing a left and right hook with an uppercut that sealed the knockout. Oh. She sleep. Oh. The fight was immediately oh. called off and the trainer came in to cradle oh. Lucia. It was a courageous showing by the best female fighter Super of all courageous. time. After this sanctioned exhibition fight, Lucia would go on to be trained by Freddie Roach and dominate the world of boxing. At one point, she was a superstar who received a million dollar fight offer. When she retired, Lucia became a motivational speaker and a coach, at one point coaching Ronda Rousey for striking. Yep. As for her opponent Somchai, not much is known about him. Contrary to what many people speculate, Somchai was not Thailand trained. He moved from Thailand to Australia and New Zealand at a young age and learned his Muay Thai locally. What we do know is that he wasn't part of the Thailand fight circuit and would not fare well against top Muay Thai fighters. What are your thoughts about man versus woman in a sports competition? Do you think they should sanction matches between the two genders? Drop a comment below to share your thoughts. Listen, at the end of the day, let me try to answer that question from my perspective. I think if they want to do it, let them do it. But have its own division, right? Don't force biological women to compete, and especially in combat sports, against created women, right? Don't allow that shit to happen. Or you can have your own division, right, of trans athletes to compete against one another. But all of the fighters I want to participate, whether male or female, have to shake hands and agree to participate in that event. The problem that I have is leveraging this feminist push idea or driven idea of equality amongst the sexes to then allow biological men, males, to participate with women. I think it's very unfair for the women. And just like in this case, at the highest level, trained men and women, same weight class, you see that the best woman fighter in the world can't even compete with the average trained male. It's crazy looking at that video now and seeing the talking points back then and to know that today at the world's biggest sports event on the world's greatest stage, nothing has changed. That's what I'm gonna leave this video here today. Guys, drop me a comment down below. What do you guys think about this whole fight situation? Are you going to be watching? I know that I wrote off watching the Olympics because of the opening ceremony, but for content's sakes, I gotta understand what happens in this fight. <laughs> Until next time, you two. Peace! You don't wanna see me get vexed. Bars on your phone, tell a man you can't jet. The big girl, the ones who can't stretch. Break in the neck when we in the car next. You don't wanna see me get vexed. Bars on your phone, tell a man you can't jet. The big girl, the ones who can't stretch. Break in the neck when we in the car next. Dead bars, need a fibrillation ASAP. Get boxed with a straight gap. I'm reminded of my state they lack. Every time they incline, we go way back. All they wanna be is just.